Another lesson video. <coughs> this one's uh, Stay Together for the Kids. It's a really simple song. Um, not much more I can say than that. Um, the intro is uh, a clean picking part. Um, it's not that hard um, to memorize. It, it goes like this. trouble you at first if uh, you're, you're still beginning a guitar but uh, you just keep practicing with it uh, figure out which uh, fingers you want to hit which notes and uh, it'll it'll work for you um, the verse is also clean um, it's it's not too difficult um, you're keeping uh, for the for the first like half of the verse you keep uh, a finger on the 7 on the D string and a 7 on the G. And you're just pretty much moving uh, the root notes to other uh, other positions. And the first one's in the 5th. And then a 7 on the E. And then you can either do a 5 on the E or an open A. Then you switch it to an open on the A, and then a seven on the D, and a nine on the G. And then uh, an open on the A again. Yeah, th uh, yeah, it was an A the other time too. Uh, uh, and then a seven on the D, and a six on the G. So it should sound like this. Second verse, it's the same chord, same co chord patterns, except all you're pretty much doing is a different pattern of picking, and it sounds like this. Um, uh, the next main part is the chorus, which is a heavy sound. Um, there's a couple little things you can throw in to the chorus to make it less boring because the, it's mainly just two different chords and the two chords are uh, G5 and then whatever the hell this one is, I don't know. It's a 2 on the E and then a 5 on the uh, A so instead of, it's all you're doing is just moving uh, your index finger down one. And um, little things you can do uh, to make it different that I like to do um, are like this. Um, and that being a uh, little transition back into the G chord like this. And another thing you can do is which, what I've seen Tom do quite a few times is like this. And all you're doing is just hitting an octave chord, which is a 7 on the A and a 9 on the G. And all that is is a, an E. So it's the same thing as essentially. Um, the other only uh, part in the song that's different is the, um, the bridge which is kind of hard to figure out sometimes. Um, I usually just improvise. Um, I believe the tab book says to play this. Um, other things I like to do are play like the little uh, bass, uh, bass part like I did in the acoustic version or the acoustic cover of Stay Together which sounds like this. It's pretty fun to play. Um, 
all you gotta really do is find a, uh, a tab for uh, like the base bridge uh, and it should be in there. Um, I know we specifically did it live on Letterman, I think, in 01 or something, I don't know. Um, you can also, instead of doing that, you could just just play with different octave chords. The octave chords sound better. You don't want to do like full power chords during the, like, the piano parts. And it'll just sound really uh, muffled. But um, that's it for the song. Uh, the only other part you go back into is just it's the chorus again, and that's uh, simple enough. Um, that's the whole song. Oh, I don't think I missed anything. Um, any comments or anything, just uh, leave a comment. <laughs> Easy as that. videos well it's almost eight o'clock right now and I've been up since 2 45 a.m. because I work at Lowe's um, in the back unloading very large trucks of products 
and sometimes even after that I go and uh, help, out, help out at my dad's place, so I'm pretty freaking worn out, and this is, I think, the third video I recorded tonight, so that's like 15, 10, 15 minutes per video, so I do this for you guys, okay? <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.